Hey, I'm Tag. Kyla here. Thought I would uh, reach out today. I know I took yesterday off. Kind of had one of those days where it was just really hit me some of the things that were going on. So I hope you guys are uh, having a better day and that um, even with the news of schools extending and the closures extending that we're able to find some joy and some peace in these things. Did have a request today for topic on what kind of equipment should you be looking for to purchase or to have at home or to kind of find and, and look around for. So I wrote down some ideas of things that I think are really important that uh, if you were at home creating your own pitching bucket or creating your your little bag of tools that you would really want to have. First thing I always add in is a spinner. You can find one of those at uh, Academy. Sometimes Dick's has them. You can also find them at clubk.com. That's where uh, they were invented and from. I also think a sock ball or a, a accelerator, whichever one that you want to do, they kind of do the same thing. So if you're not wanting to find um, a whole bunch of equipment and go out and start purchasing things, you can just take one of the old socks um, maybe that you have one that maybe has mismatch or one that maybe isn't um, has some holes in it or something like that Put your ball in it tie a knot um, Do tie it kind of closer towards a ball you want it it will slowly stretch itself out Over time so you don't want it to be too long that they find themselves hitting the ground on that If you are a beginner, I would suggest a baseball and a 12 inch ball so you can do a little bit of underloading and overloading if you are more intermediate and advanced, I would recommend getting into the heavy and light ball. Um, they usually come in a kit. Uh, same thing, Club K has one. Worth makes a really good one. Has a nice cover on it. Comes with a heavy, comes with a light, and comes with a regular ball. So it kind of takes care of all three from. If you are more advanced, I would definitely recommend a 14-inch ball. But until you are a little older and a little stronger, I don't think that 14-inch ball is something that's important whenever you're younger, just for some of those older ones. I do think your bucket should always have some string in it. Uh, you can make a hurdle from that. You can make ropes to throw under, ropes at halfway, ropes at the plate. Um, you can work on your glove hand. There's a lot of different things you can do with string. So you want to make sure you have a big uh, roll of string to cut up and do. I do usually tend to buy some that are neon or pink or yellow or any of those kind of crazy colors. They're a little easier to see instead of white. Sometimes they kind of um, get a little hard to see with the white. I also think a towel is important. So I, um, you can take one of the dish towels, the longer ones, or one of your hand towels in your bathrooms. If you have an older one that you've been meaning to get rid of, or you can take, if you have some old towels just in the garage, cut one. You wanna tape the ends, or you can put uh, hair ties on the ends. So it looks like a long kind of tube or um, slot that helps you with glove hand, helps you with whip. Um, you can do bucket hits with it. There's a lot of things you can do. You can do arm circles with it to make sure your arm circle's in a good line. I think that's a really important item to have. Um, it serves a lot of different purposes. And then a noodle as well. If you can take one of your old pool noodles or if you have the um, electrical uh, tubing that you have that covers some of the pipes and stuff, those are a dollar at Lowe's. They're pretty inexpensive. Cut those down. I usually make it about the length of their arm um, so that it's not too long. And then that way you can, again, work on glove hand, you can work on arm circles, you can work on hitting things, you can see some stuff, point with some things, a lot of different stuff you can do to help fix some of those things. Even your drag can get better with some of those um, tubing and stuff. If you have um, extra buckets, I would always create two or three buckets just so that if you were doing a uh, drop into a bucket or breaks over it, or if you were doing um, pitching between to kind of keep your feet in line or back leg on a bucket or seated bucket. So I do think buckets are important to have more than one up. And if you're trying to find some extra stuff that you want to make sure you have, cones I think are really important. The little foot cones that are low, you can really see your ball path, your break points. You can make sure that things are staying down stuff. You can work on change-ups being lower. Um, you can work on drop balls for strike three counts with those cones. You can do a lot of things even with um, some of your spin within them when you're working on curve or screw position, even rise. So I think cones are something that if you have some extra of, 
uh, you want to definitely try to do. And the last thing that I think is really important, I think it would take a little bit of time, but since we seem to now have more time than we wanted, um, is make yourself a beam. I think beams are really important. Um, they help pitchers really see their uh, weight distribution and their body alignment that they're trying to take off and, and move in a straight line towards their target. So many times um, pitchers move their body around to accommodate for this arm when it's making that circle. And if we can get them to understand that arm can work within their body while it's moving in a straight line, you're going to find them throwing a lot faster and have a lot more control over things. So those are the things I would recommend. I think there's a lot of great stuff out there. There's a lot of stuff for foot drive. There's a lot of stuff like that. But almost everything you can create um, without having to go buy something. So uh, if you look in my facility, I have a few things that are bought. But most of the things that I have are stuff that has been made for me or um, we found a way to create it to look like something else. So I would definitely recommend being creative and, and getting that kind of stuff that you still can do all the things that you want to do with your toys um, to help you feel your motion, to help you feel what things should spin like or look like. Um, Cause that's what we're really trying to do when we're, when we're getting these kind of items, we're trying to help a pitcher accomplish something that they might not be feeling or seeing whenever they have their regular ball. So once they kind of get it and understand it, if they can feel it and they can see it, then they're gonna be able to repeat it. That's what our goal is whenever we're doing different drills and different spins and things like that and different items. That's what we want as a pitching coach. So when you're looking for those kind of things, use those, use that creativity that's going to help those pitchers feel those kind of things. All right, hope that helps. Hope everybody's staying safe and healthy. Can't wait to see you guys soon.